ADHD. For millions, it's more than just a diagnosis. It's a daily struggle, a constant tug of war between focus and distraction, between hyperactivity and stillness. Now, traditionally, we've relied on stimulant medications like Adderall and Ritalin to manage these symptoms. And for many, they work. But for others, the side effects and limits to these treatments leave a lot to be desired. But what if there's another way? One that doesn't require a prescription pad or a trip to the pharmacy. Microdose and psychedelics taking a small subperceptual dose of substance like psilocybin, magic mushrooms, or LSD has captured the attention of researchers, doctors, and individuals alike as a potential treatment for ADHD. Today, we are going to dive deep into why people are turning to this unconventional method and what the studies are telling us and how it's changing lives. So before we get into the benefits of microdosing for ADHD, let's break down exactly what microdosing is. At its core, microdosing involves taking a very small, typically subperceptual doses of psychedelics. We're talking about doses that are far below the level needed to cause hallucinations or a trip. Instead, these doses are small enough that you really don't notice a dramatic shift in your perception of reality, but they're big enough that people report subtle changes in their mood, cognition, and overall well-being. Microdoses of substances like psilocybin, which is the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, or LSD are typically taken on a schedule, something like once every three days. And while the practice is relatively new and modern, since indigenous cultures have been using psychedelic plants in small doses for centuries to treat everything from physical ailments to emotional disturbances. So why are people doing it? Beyond ADHD, many who microdose report that it helps with mood stabilization, reducing anxiety, enhancing creativity, and improving focus. A 2021 study published in Scientific Reports revealed that individuals who microdose experience lower levels of anxiety and depression compared to those who didn't. And let's face it, in a world that feels more overwhelming by the day, it's no wonder people are looking for alternatives. So now let's talk about ADHD specifically. Conventional ADHD medications like stimulants have been the go-to treatment for decades. They work by increasing the levels of dopamine in the brain, helping to improve focus and reduce impulsivity. But there's a downside. The side effects can be brutal. Insomnia, anxiety, loss of appetite, even increased heart rate. For some, the medication stops working after a while. For others, it never quite worked at all. In fact, up to 50% of adults stop taking their ADHD medication within two years. Microdosing offers something different. It's not about artificially stimulating your brain. It's about promoting balance and focus from within without the crash that often comes with traditional stimulants. People are turning to microdosing because it doesn't feel like a band-aid on the problem. Instead of numbing or wiring your brain, microdosing helps you engage with the world, sharpen your focus, and even calm the noise inside of your head. The science behind microdosing is still in its early stages, but the results we've seen so far are very promising. A groundbreaking study from Maastricht University followed adults with ADHD who chose to microdose psilocybin and LSD over a four-week period. The results? Participants not only saw a reduction in their ADHD symptoms, but also reported feeling more emotionally balanced, the key struggle for many living with the disorder. Another study conducted at the University of British Columbia further explored the mental health impacts of microdosing, showing that those who microdose experience lower levels of anxiety and depression than those who don't. These findings matter because ADHD isn't just about hyperactivity or inattention. It often comes with emotional volatility. Microdosing, as these studies suggest, may address both the cognitive and emotional aspects of ADHD, something traditional medications don't always do well. So how does microdosing help with ADHD? Researchers believe it comes down to how psychedelics interact with the brain's serotonin receptors, particularly the 5-HT2A receptors. These receptors play a crucial role in regulating mood, cognition, and perception. When you take a microdose, you're not experiencing the full on trip that psychedelics are known for, but these receptors are still being activated, leading to subtle improvements in cognitive function and emotional regulation. A study published in Biological Psychiatry, Cognitive Neuroscience and Neuroimaging found that low doses of psychedelics, specifically LSD, can improve mood, increase social cognition, and even alter how we perceive time, all of which could help alleviate ADHD symptoms. Moreover, microdosing seems to enhance neural connectivity, essentially helping different parts of the brain communicate more effectively. This increased connectivity may be one of the reasons why people report feeling more focused and less distracted when microdosing. There's also emerging evidence that microdosing can reduce inflammation in the brain, which is linked to both ADHD symptoms and mental health issues like anxiety and depression. So microdosing isn't a silver bullet. It's not a cure that will make your ADHD vanish overnight. For many, it's providing something that traditional treatments often don't. Balance, clarity, and emotional regulation without the heavy side effects. The science is still evolving, but early studies and personal stories are showing that microdosing could be 
a real alternative, one that addresses both the cognitive and emotional struggles of ADHD in a way that feels more holistic. If you've been frustrated with conventional ADHD treatments or you're curious about new approaches, microdosing may be worth exploring. As always, consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your treatment plan. And as we continue to learn more about the unconventional method, it's clear that microdosing has the potential to reshape how we think about ADHD and mental health. If you're interested in learning more about microdosing, jump down into the video description. You'll see links for coaches and courses that we fully trust and recommend. You'll also find free in-depth medically reviewed guides for microdosing, psilocybin mushrooms, LSD, and many other psychedelic substances. Before blindly jumping into microdosing or psychedelic use in general, it is incredibly important that you take the time to fully educate yourself and know the legality of these tools where you live and study any contraindications that would suggest these substances may not be right for you. So what's your take? Could microdosing actually be a future ADHD treatment? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other content on the potential benefits of psychedelics for mental health.